So let's talk about the Alex Math Placement Exam. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you are studying for the Alex Math Placement Exam, and that is definitely a smart move. A lot of people just kind of show up and take the Alex Math Placement Exam, and then they kind of place into whatever math course that they, you know, reflects the score they got on that day. But that's not a really a great strategy because if you have math skills that could put you in a higher level math class, uh, you know, you don't want to repeat a math course that you already know because that's going to be a waste of your time and money. So you definitely want to study as much as possible for your Alex Math Placement exam and get into the highest level math course that you possibly can. And what I have for you here is a practice problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at the problems. So we're looking for angle one, and here's angle one right there. And we have a circle and two arcs, and this arc right here is 40 degrees, and this arc right here is 80 degrees. So again, we're looking for the measure of angle one. Okay, so if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'll walk through step-by-step step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. I'm also the founder of TC Math Academy. And TC Math Academy, I have well over 150 plus math courses to include a very comprehensive and very successful Alex Math test prep course. Now, this is a 25 chapter uh, math course. Now, you're not going to be able to kind of go through the entire course, but it is like the ultimate math review. So you can really uh, understand all the concepts from basic math into advanced high school level math. If you can get through everything in my course, you're going to do very, very well on the Alex exam, the Alex math placement exam. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and uh, check out or follow the link in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and get into this problem right now. So uh, angle one is equal to what? Well, angle one is equal to 60 degrees. All right, now again, this is not that difficult. The key to uh, doing this problem is knowing a formula. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the formula. Uh, this is very easy, actually. So basically, when you have two inscribed uh, chords like this within a circle, of course, a chord is a line that runs from one point to a circle to another, like so, and you're looking for this angle right here. Well, what we want to do is take the average of these arcs that are formed with these two chords. Okay, so uh, basically all we need to do here is uh, take 40 degrees, add it to 80 degrees, which is the measure of these two arcs, and then take one half of that, and that is going to get us uh, this angle right here, angle one, which of course is the same as this angle because these angles are vertical angles. Okay, so probably the hardest part about this problem is remembering the formula. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply the formula again. Very simple now that we know how to uh, solve this problem. So we're going to take 40 plus 80 and uh, average those out. So 40 plus 80 is obviously 120, and one half of 120 is 60. So that is angle one. All right, now this particular problem, there's all sorts of variations that you could use this simple formula to, um, you know, turn this into other type of problems. In other words, we could have like 2x right here. So we can make this, you know, problem more interesting, or we can give you this angle right here, which would be 60, and then uh, you would, uh, could be asked, well, solve for this arc right here. So again, you know, these formulas can be applied in all different sorts of scenarios. But the important part here is to just use this video as feedback. You really have to know Algebra 2 and Geometry. These are the two main courses, and there is a lot of material in these two courses. Now, even if you um, might be, say, like currently at the pre-calculus or maybe even calculus level, a lot of students uh, might say to themselves, oh, I'm already you know, at a, a more advanced level. I don't need to go back and, and do this uh, you know, review as much as uh, you think. I'm telling you right now, uh, you need to go back and you have to focus on all the stuff that you'll learn in these courses, all right? It's really, really important. And whether you use my course or some other material, make sure you go back and again, you know, review um, all these concepts. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, there is a lot of math on the Alex Math Placement Test. 
and you don't want to go in there uh, underprepared because that will have uh, negative uh, consequences as you really do want to place into the best math course for you. So make sure to check out my Alex Math Test Prep course. Again, you can find a link to that in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.